My name is Mona Golub. I'm the producing artistic director here at Music Haven. And ever since 1999, I've been producing a global series here. This venue is really special. You don't have a lot of cities that build something, almost a monument to music. Music Haven in Schenectady is a, a testament of this city's desire to put art in the hands of their people. So I wish I had something like this in my community. Unlike a lot of other venues, Motor brings in acts from all over the world, genres of music from all over the world, instruments sometimes that I've looked up to try to figure out how to mic or put into the system, haven't been able to find it. And when I, when I get here with the player of that instrument, I find out it's because it's the only one in the world. It's a place where incredible cultural energy from across the United States and across the world lands. In today's day and age, it's important for us to open our hearts and our minds and our ears to the music and the culture of other places. So it's wonderful to be able to welcome that to this community. Venues like Music Haven uh, tell the story of Danling. You hear that they have a variety of types of artists and that the system performs extremely well for all genres of music. And that goes just to the heart of, of a Danling loudspeaker is that it's able to do accurately any music. It's not a genre-specific product. Music Haven is designed as a true music amphitheater. So I wanted something that could really preserve the tone and maintain the integrity of you know, all of the work that, the, that these musicians from all over the world have done to, to, to create their, their signature sound. Our sound engineer brought up the front of house, and the first thing I did instinctively is just to sort of check the low end and I hit the floor tom, and I hit the kick, and I almost fell out of my drum throne. It's not normal for a drummer to feel the front of house. And there's something special about these Danley cabinets that, that, I don't know, the geometry of the math involved, that upstage in the very middle, I can feel such a focused thump. It was a surprise, it was a shock. We hosted Steep Canyon Rangers, uh, bluegrass, newgrass, six-part harmony, brilliant instrumentation, six different ways, uh, and it sounded gorgeous coming through the Danley system. There is something happening with these. You know, we have these microphones. I use in-ear monitors, and we turn up the front of house, and I found myself riding the front of house level on my monitors more and more and more tonight because what I wanted was more of the PA. I've never been like, so sucked in by a PA before. There's something special going on here. The system here is brand new. This season was recently installed. My favorite part about it is probably the fact that it's so powerful for two subs, two tops, some fills as well. Working with it this season uh, compared to last season, we, we've had a, a dramatic improvement. I believe that the PA system should be heard and not seen. I think you should see the performers on stage and you should not be aware of where the sound is coming from. Turns out that they're just such a well-manufactured box while being relatively small in footprint and high in output. And the efficiency of the systems, it's amazing. We're running this entire venue on 220 amp circuits. But it even goes further than that because when we've needed support in various ways, they're always there for us. In our relationships with our dealers, many times we, we uh, work with them on designs, we work with them on demos. Um, we interface with their clients, so they know that they've got the manufacturer's support right from the start. I think it's something that the dealers value, knowing that we're there not just at the sale, but all through the life of the system, really. I am thrilled with the system, and it has accommodated such a diversity of music here just in this 2022 season uh, that it's proven its worth.